This is a brief tutorial explaining the process of port forwarding a two-wire AT&T U-verse router. This can be useful in several applications such as running a Minecraft server or hosting your website at home, although I do not advise you host your website at home. It is very insecure and not a good connection for hosting a website. If you would like me to do a tutorial in the future on running a Minecraft server after you have port forwarded your router, which may not be an AT&T router, leave that in the comments and I will definitely consider your request. The first step is to navigate your browser to the IP address of 192.168.1.254. The 192.168 indicates it is a local IP address on your local network and this happens to be the IP address of your router. It has a useful web GUI that looks like this. You will see several things including information about your broadband connection, and a list of devices on your network. You do not need to change any of this. Instead, you will click Settings, and then once you're in the Settings tab, there will be a set of tabs under that. Click Firewall, and in the third layer of tabs, click Applications, Pinholes, and DMZ. Once you get to the screen like this, there will be a list of computers and other devices on your network. We will come back to this later. Scroll down until you see a list of applications and under that list it says add a new user to find application. Click that and you will get a screen like this. The application profile name is there to help you remember what the ports are. If you are hosting a Minecraft server on your network, name it something like Minecraft or MC or if you're hosting a web server, name it whatever seems appropriate. If you are hosting a Minecraft server, make sure the TCP radio button is checked and the port or range is 25565 to 25565. If you are hosting something else, you should already know what ports need to be forwarded. You can leave the rest blank unless you know what you're doing and then click add the list. It will now ask for a password. This password is different from the regular network key you would use to access your router through a wireless device. It is on a different sticker than where you would find that. Just find your router and look for another sticker that will tell you the password, which is usually a string of numbers. Once you have entered that password correctly, your application you just added should be on the application list. You will need to make sure you select the right computer though. So scroll back up and the first computer should be chosen. Now look for your computer name and click that. Now go down to the application list and find the application you've added. Now on the right click add and there your application should be on the application list. And one last step is to where it says maximum protection with a radio box next to it, go down and say in, allow individual applications if that is not already checked. Hopefully this was a helpful tutorial on port forwarding a two-wire AT&T U-verse router. And if you would like to know how to set up a Minecraft server after you port forwarded, let me know in the comments and also subscribe and a comment or like would be appreciated.